the Russo-Ukrainian conflict has proven that tank warfare, developed during World War II and perfected during the Cold War, remains relevant to modern conflict. The parties are trying to upgrade this tactic with new technologies, including the use of radar observing materials to protect combat vehicles. Russian defense enterprises have begun to use the Nakitka cover, a three-stage radar observing camouflage system that can protect tanks, ammo fighting vehicles, fortifications, and many other structures from enemy precision weapon attack. A large number of domestic enterprises have received the first Nakika system from the Scientific Research Institute of Steel to equip tanks with this protective equipment, said Russia's Glasnikov Concern Arms Corporation. Not only protecting combat vehicles from detection by radar systems, thermal emission systems, or optical systems of anti-tank missiles, the Nakitka system is also designed to protect vehicle camouflage with special coatings. The need for camouflage with radar observing material first appeared after World War II due to the development of guided missiles, and it was applied mainly on combat aircraft. Since the 2000s, Russia, the US, and many other countries have developed low-cost radar observing coatings that can cover ground vehicles, aircraft, UAVs, even warships or buildings. Nakitka is a prime example. This is a passive protection system made of ferrite material, first introduced in the mid-2000s. According to the Steel Scientific Research Institute, which designed Nakitka, it reduces the chances of detection by day or night viewers and TV systems and seekers by 30% infra-seekers by 2 to 3 fold, radar by 6 fold, and reduces the thermal radar signature to near background levels. Nakika is a fiction in the optical, IR, and radar wavelength bands up to 12 cm, and also reduces the radar cross-section by 10 dB. In other words, the Nakitka system prevents enemy radars from detecting heat emitted during vehicle operation. Its heat absorbing layer will reduce the signal sent by enemy detectors. The Nakitka system is easy to use with customizable sets of 10 separate components for the vehicle's turret, engine compartment, front and side armor. Nakitka also provides vigorous camouflage using special coatings. Nakitka is quite light, about 8 to 10 mm thick, and weighs about 2 kg per square meter, capable of protecting against small arms. The system costs about $2,675 each in 2005. The use of naked car helps provide an inexpensive but relatively effective solution to protect combat vehicles as well as ensure the safety of the crew. Russia is said to have used this system in Ukraine in the spring of 2022. Open source intelligence sources said that the Nakitka camouflage layer was used on the T-90M Proif tank. Some other sources added that Russian RA tankers also used this camouflage to reduce size of heat radiation to avoid being tracked. However, the Russian military has not yet confirmed this information. The Russian military has been applying various camouflage methods to avoid detection by the enemy.
camouflage is becoming more and more urgent in the context of drones being widely used on the battlefield. Ukraine is said to have used Turkey's made TB2 Bayraktar UAVs, modified commercial UAVs, or a suicide drones that the West has provided to them to attack Russian convoys. Some military experts say that, with the rapid change on the battlefield, any form of camouflage is essential and can bring advantages to the parties.